Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. Um, today I want to show you some tricks and tips how to rename stuff in Maya. There are several ways. Yeah, let's just start with the simplest one. Uh, this is, by the way, a little rig that I made for my short film Zen, which is uh, still in production. What we want to do is uh, we want to select one of these uh, little controls. This is for the eye, for the left eye. And um, I'm going to isolate it with uh, control and one. You can also click this little icon here, but I never use that. Um, and uh, you can see this is a little curve. You can hide them too. Uh, we don't need them right now. All right. This is what we're dealing with in this um, little part of the of the tutorial. It's a curve. Well, it's better to say it's a multitude of curves, which I combined using a smart little comment. I'm gonna make a little. Um, tutorial on that too at some point and if you have a, such an object in Maya it is um, it has the same structure for everything like it's if it's a NURBS curve or if it's a polygon it doesn't matter it has the same structure there's a transform which you normally see as the object if you right click here and uh, enable shapes you can um, open this up and you can see there are little um, all the little curves which this object is made of and um, we, we want to rename them because um, it's not really clean and some of them are even a bit offensive in some languages. So, um, what can we do to rename all these objects at once? We could go through and type it in, but that's stupid and we don't want to be stupid. So we're going up here. Um, you might not see this, it's, it might be um, hidden for you in your interface. Uh, mm, you might be on some other uh, of these options. Um, I think the default is this, which I never use. I also don't ever use the other ones. I just always use the rename. I set it to this and um, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing with this widget up here. Uh, you can type a name here. For example, you can call it shape. And uh, if you can enter or press enter, um, all these objects, all these shapes will be renamed appropriately to shape or whatever you typed in. And uh, they're also going to be automatically numbered. And um, also it's going to watch out if some of these numbers are, are like the name with the exact same number is somewhere else in the entire Maya file. It's going to skip that number. All right. So we've got re those renamed, but there are more options to rename stuff in Maya. This is pr a pretty simple one. Um, so um, let's go out of this object. Um, I'm going to disable the um, isolated view with control one and you can see I've got some cubes over here which are called cube, cube one, cube two and so forth and now we're gonna give them a nice little prefix and there's an option in the modify tab um, which is up here there are two options for naming and we're gonna look at this one first because it's the most simple one you just enter any prefix at all let's call it stupid and we have a stupid cube <laughs> with double O because it's funnier. And um, that's basically just giving it a prefix. You can give it another prefix if you want, but yeah, I think we got a point. Um, there's also the search and replace names, which is um, fucking awesome because you can now um, replace stupid with great. Now you have some great cubes, which is much better. Uh, so that is the search and replace names um, tool. Um, there's also another tool in Maya, which is a bit more complex, but you need to have the bonus tools installed. Um, it's on this website for Maya. It's, a, it's the Autodesk App Store. You can download the Maya bonus tools. It should download an installer. I'm not going to do that now, but uh, you can just install it like any other program and it will show up in your Maya. And um, those are tools made by Autodesk, uh, which are not in the default Maya because not everyone needs them. But um, yeah, like, 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 like I said, it's, it's a bonus. All right, and we have under window, uh, the pattern rename tool. I believe, let's remove this. Uh, I believe this was made by um, Roland Dreyer. You can find them on YouTube and he has a much uh, more in-depth video on this. It's not that complex, but uh, he's, he's, a, he's explaining it pretty greatly. Um, so check him out if you want. Um, I, th I'm, I believe you made this too, I'm not quite sure. Um, but I'm gonna simplify this a little bit. So we have these cubes, uh, which I call great cube and a number. And um, we want to replace great 
with very great because these cubes are very great and we can add this search and replace um, thingy to the list now we have this um, option in the list we can also add other things we can instead of the underscore c from the cube we can make it an underscore b so they're gonna be boops whatever that is and if we add this to the list um, we have two renaming options so we can add as many as you want and if you now reload you're gonna see a preview of what these objects are gonna be called and you can see they're gonna be called very 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 great boop the boop work but the very great seem to glitch out right and the reason for that is pretty simple we replace great with very great and this has 20 iterations, so it does this 20 times. It searches for great and replaces it with very great. And because very great has a great in it, the, it's going to see, oh, very great cube, great. We're going to replace it with very great. And again and again and again. And that's why we have a very, 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 very great cube. Or bube in this case. And um, that's obviously not what we want. So we can um, change the iterations here to 1. And now it will work. Um, yeah, so now we have a very great view, and um, if we now rename, you're going to see these objects get renamed to the appropriate name. Um, yeah, this tool is um, very useful if you have, for example, multiple controls, like these here, which are called, if you can take a look here, um, control wheel L or uh, control hand or arm L. Um, so these are for the left side and have an underscore L at the end. And uh, we have maybe copied those over to the uh, right side. And now we need to rename them and instead of renaming each and every one by ourselves um, manually. We can use this tool and search for underscore L and replace it with underscore R. It's way simpler, way easier. All right. So that is pretty much it. I um, hope I could help you a bit and um, yeah, you can take a look at my uh, channel if you want to see more stuff. Uh, there are also going to be some links in the description um, regarding the rig and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I wish you a very great day. Bye-bye. Um,